Um, going to our series, this is a second week of uh, our series called uh, uh, A Reason to Celebrate. Pwede mo ba sabihin sa katabi mo, A Reason to Celebrate? Okay, of course, the obvious answer for that is already given, okay, which is Jesus is the reason to celebrate. But ang yung intent natin in this uh, series is we want to look at the book of Isaiah and we want to find out how even in the time of Isaiah, he already had a reason to celebrate for what's going to happen in the future. He already had a reason to celebrate despite the situation that they were in. And, and our hope that as we dive into Isaiah, okay, this year, if napansin nyo, we have been going to the book of Isaiah. Uh, some scholars would consider that the fifth gospel because of the richness and how it points us to Jesus. We're hoping that as we dive into uh, Isaiah, we're really going to understand and experience the fullness of God as well. And so I want to invite everyone to stand to our feet. We're going to be reading from Isaiah verse, uh, chapter 9, verse 2. And, and then I'm going to jump to John chapter 1, verse 4 to verses 12. Okay? So if you have your Bible, you can open your Bible there. If nandiyan ka sa bahay mo, or if meron ka rin Bible dyan, go lang, open mo lang. And allow me to read for you. It says here, The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness, on them has light shone. One verse, but we can learn so much from this. Let me jump to John 1, verse 4 to 12. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to bear witness about the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness about the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you because your word is alive. It's able to minister to us. It's able to connect to each one of us. Lord, pumunta kami dito. We've come from different backgrounds, from different walks of life, different seasons, and different things that we're carrying right now. And our hope this is, this, is through your word. Lord, we will encounter you. That after today's message, Lord, we're going to go back to wherever, uh, whatever we need to do, filled with the light that is said in this text. Lord, be honored, be glorified, dwell with us. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You can take a seat. Um, let me start with a story very quick. Um, uh, a, a few weeks ago, or I think a month or two ago, um, yung daughter namin, si Brave, uh, actually experienced her very first uh, brown out, okay? So, uh, ako, na-experience ako ng, ng mga brown out na dati, okay? Brown, pag brown out, favorite ko yan, eh, okay? Tatagutaguan kami ng barkada ko, syempre, ako yung pinakamahirap hanapin, yung mga ganyan. So, uh, okay lang, okay? No, normal lang sa akin yun. Okay, but, but uh, this was the first time for Brave. And um, the, the sudden brown out, okay, actually created fear in her. I, I could remember it because we were playing and while we were playing, nung namatay yung ilaw, absolute dark, she started shaking. She, I, I was there and I was talking to her. Sabi ko, Brave, Brave, Dada is here. But then she was still, uh, nararamdaman mo yung, uh, yung, yung nanginginig yung labi, yung nakikita mo kahit faint yung light, is medyo teary-eyed nung na-flashlight. Ko siya yung, na, she was shaking. It, it was something na, again, first time nilang na-experience na total darkness. Na wala nakikita. Of course, pag gabi, uh, nagpapatay kami ng ilaw, but then may mga ilaw pa rin sa labas nung sa kapitbahay, sa street lights. but then this was absolute dark. And so, again, first time niya. And because this was unannounced, ramdam mo sa kanya, even though it was just a few minutes, it felt very long for her. Uh, and, and, and this was making her feel uncomfortable. Now, of course, again, I was trying my best to tell her and to remind her of stories before. But then, kami rin naman ng asawa ko, kami ni Dindi, medyo 
kami rin medyo na, 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 nagulat kami. Because uh, how many of you know pag work from home tas nag brown out medyo matatakot ka. Isipin mo yung wifi, isipin mo yung battery ng phone mo. Tapos kami rin kasi yung pag nagluluto kami yung stove namin is electricity din eh. So electric din. So imagine namin nakapag, nakapagluto ba kami, nakapagsayang ba kami. So parang to have no electricity and no light at all, all of a sudden, parang we were caught off guard. Na anong gagawin namin? Paano to? And, and again, it, mas na-shake kami kasi hindi namin alam kung matagal ba to, gano'ng katagal ba to, 30 minutes lang ba to. And, and, and so, we were thinking of all those things and all of a sudden, after a few minutes, buti na lang, nagkailaw ulit because may inaayos na meral ko pala dun sa labas kasi nag, nag-spark. And so, that was what happened. I, I, I think about that instance. I think about the pandemic. This pandemic came and we were all caught off guard. Tama ba? Nagulat tayo. This was not announced. We were kind of given some heads up that this, there will be this pandemic, magla-lockdown. And some of you hope, some of us hope na three months lang to. Sino sa inyo naalala niyo yun? So, medyo relax ka lang. Three months lang daw. Oy, after, okay, parang huwag muna tayo magkita. Okay lang. So, after three months, magkikita na ulit. Thus, the three months became six months. And then six months became a year. And then last year, diba, December, if you remember, we were saying, guys, this is the first and last Christmas na ganito tayo. And then nag-extend. And here we are, second year ng pandemic, and hindi na natin masabi <laughs> na, guys, hopefully this is the second year because there's uncertainty. This was all uh, very sudden and and. Really, one of the effects of all of this pandemic is it has brought a lot, a lot of darkness in our lives. This pandemic has brought darkness upon us. If you look at the news, if you look at everything in, in, in society right now, there is darkness in terms of marriages. There are so many marriages that are in chaos because of this pandemic. There's this article that says, yung pandemic, dahil dahat ng tao, yung mga couple, is na, na, nagkasama for 24 hours, 27, at uh, 24-7 a week. Grabo yung tension para daw microwave na yung bahay. Kasi heated lagi. Okay? Dati, okay pa eh, di ba? May mainit ulo mo, pwede kang lumabas, di ba? Pupunta lang ako sa mall. Di ba? Pero ngayon, hindi pwede, nandun kayo pareho eh. Walang, wala lang ano, di ba? So, uh, uh, also, another factor is yung parenting. Nakita natin, nagkaroon ng tension yung old generation at young generation. Di ba? Naki- Ang dami nating mga nakita yung mga students, if studyante ka dito, naramdaman mo yung pagbabago nung studying method. Naramdaman mo. Ang dami mga studyante nag- nakikipag-usap sa amin. Sabi, Coach, wala akong maintindihan sa online class. Ang hirap mag-adapt. Yung iba, nag-opt na lang na mag-drop out Wag muna, uh, tumigil muna totally. And so, again, ang dami niyang effect, young, old, emotionally, the effects. We've already heard a lot of stories of uh, anxiety, people having anxiety attacks, people being depressed. There's so many things that happen. Darkness has come upon us. And here's the thing, darkness usually causes desperation. Because there's darkness, it makes us desperate to look for light. And, 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 and it's ugly when people are desperate, isn't it? Have you ever been in a desperate situation? When you're in a desperate situation, you don't quite make very clear decisions, isn't it? Kung ano lang yung mahawakan mo, yun na yun. And, and that's why I, I say this, that desperate people will do desperate things. This pandemic has brought darkness and it has made us desperate people and desperate people do desperate things. And when people are desperate, they're willing to let go of their morality, of their dignity, of they're willing to sacrifice things that was essential just for the sake of surviving. Now, I'm talking about all of this because in Isaiah 9, the context was also ugly. There was also so, uh, nito, um, economical unrest. Society, uh, ano ko yung word. Um, there was unrest in society. There was unrest politically because there was this king called uh, King Ahaz, and he was trapped in a place and he was made desperate. So nakipag-alliance siya sa isang king, yung king ng Assyria, which is a king Tiglath. Okay, and uh, what happened is because he made that, akala niya kapag nagkipag-alliance ako dito, safe kami. 
but nag-backfire yung decision. Because what they thought was a friend, was an ally, was someone who was trying to conquer them eventually. And so it cost uh, thousands of lives of their soldier. And so and daming namatay, and now they're defeated, they're in shame, and they're now desperate. And because now they're desperate, nahihiya silang lumapit kay God because they knew God was already speaking, God was already saying something, but because they did not heed the law, the testimony of God, what their what, uh, decision nila is we will just go for diviners, mga medium. Kung sino man yung iba, basta wag si God. Kung sino man yung available, doon na lang kami lalapit. And how many of you here, medyo familiar yung situation? Right? Na Lord, parang nakakahiya na, parang Lord, may ginagawa ka ba? Kung may ginagawa ka, hindi dapat hindi nangyari to. Pero dahil it looks like our situation is, is so bad, Lord, we're just gonna find our own way. We're just gonna uh, find different sources. Pero Lord, parang ikaw, since wala kang ginagawa, I don't know about you, Lord. Maybe that person, oy, that person is saying something positive. Ay, grabe, okay yan sa akin. But here is something that they did not think because they ascribed to different sorcerers, mediums, kung sino sinong bosses. Eventually, what they thought was light brought them to more darkness. And now, because they followed different voices instead of following the leadership of God in their lives, now they're more empty. And now because they're empty, they're more disappointed. And now because they're disappointed, they're angry with whoever was in leadership and they were angry with God as well. So yung mga tao, sinisisi si King Ahaz. King Ahaz, kasalanan mo to eh. Lord, kasalanan mo din to. Instead of actually looking into their lives. And saying, wait, wait, didn't we make this decision? Again, isn't this a familiar scenario? Isn't this very true today as well? A lot of people have run away from God, but at the end, and, 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 and they've chased some other voices but God. And then now that they're left in a place na hindi nila gusto, they're angry with other people, they're angry with God, they're angry with, with so many things. That's why Isaiah verse 9, chapter 9, verse 2 says, These people now walked in darkness. Because that was the background, that was their decision. God was trying to speak, but they did not listen, and now they're walking in the darkness. Now, I like that word, walking. Pedyo must be in walking. Pedyo bang type walking. Okay? I like that, walked in darkness. Because it's possible. To walk in darkness. It doesn't mean if you're in darkness, stuck ka. You can be walking. How many of you, pag madaling araw, pag naiihi ka, di ba? Pwede kang nakapatay yung ilaw, pero naglalakad ka. But then, may mga times na <laughs> yung tatamaan ng paamo yung, yung gilid ng pinto, di ba? Mayroong ka matatapakan. Kung ano-ano, because there's darkness. And the picture of darkness, what that usually meant before is, it would signify death. It would signify ignorance, sin, separation. And so these people walked in darkness. They were able to adapt in darkness. Isn't it that one of the things that we hear today is just live with it? There's corruption. There's immorality. There's hypocrisy. See, there's so many things, and sometimes, because of the darkness, what, what do we usually say? Ganyan talaga yan. Let's just walk with it. Let's just live with it. Normal na yan eh. But I want you to know this, that we are not meant to live in darkness. There are some things in our society today that seems dark, but it's not supposed to be dark. We're not supposed to look at our situation if it's dark and, and say, ah, ganto talaga, madilim talaga yung buhay ko, James, eh. And so, wala tayo magagawa. For the last 30 years of my life, madilim talaga. And so, ano bang, eh, eh kung may solution naman, pwede, di ba? But, but we're not supposed to live in darkness. Are you here? We're supposed to be living in the light. If we go back to Genesis, you would see that before man and woman was made, ano yung ginawa muna ni God? In the first day, He created light. He did not just say, oy, parang ang pwedeng ha maging habitation tong lugar na to ah. 
Lagay na natin si Adam and Eve. <laughs> di ba? Imagine si Adam and Eve on the first day. Ah, ano nangyayari, Lord? Sa ano nangyayari dito? Total darkness. But because God had intent for mankind, my purpose to God, He created light and everything followed after that. Because we are creatures of light. How many of you believe it's hard to thrive in the dark? It's hard, sa mga studyante, it's hard to study in the dark, isn't it? It's hard to, um, to build something in the dark. Ang hirap mabuhay sa dilim. It is why in this verse, this tells us that God did not allow the darkness to actually be the permanent situation of the people and of the land. And in the same way, darkness will not have the absolute and final reign over our lives. Amen? God will not have the fi- uh, the darkness. God to you know. Darkness will not have the absolute and final authority over our families. If you came here and again you're feeling like this this year, not just itong Christmas, but this year, feeling mo parang ang dilim dilim. Want you to know that your life can have light. Yung buhay mo hindi hindi yan habang buhay na sa dilim. He says, going back to the verse, the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness on them has light shone. This darkness is external. But did you know that there's another type of darkness? It's not just the darkness outside, but did you know that there, or there is also darkness within you? How many of you know that sometimes the darkness within us is a bigger problem? Our pride, our anger issues, yung bigla ka na lang, yung selfishness natin, the greed, the lust. How many of you know that kind of darkness is much more destructive? And sometimes we just want to point in the darkness. Nagrabe, sasama na Pero sometimes we don't see and acknowledge that darkness. But again, the good news is the promised great light. Jesus will overcome the deep darkness that has plagued His people. Gano pa kadilim yan, gano pa kasama, gano pa kabaho yung kadiliman na yan, you know what? There is hope. Because the great light of Jesus can give light to whatever it is. Amen? Kahit sa past pa yan, kahit ano pa nangyari, kala mo wala nang solusyon, alam mo, pwedeng-pwedeng buhay ni God yan. Amen? Kung ngayon nga, pwede na magluta tayo. Anyway, the, this light that was promised, we see many years after, 700 years after, being fulfilled in Jesus. And when Jesus came, this is what was prophesied. Sabi doon, um, in Him was life. Yung binasa natin sa John. And, and what this tells us, this, this great light, which is Jesus, brings life to His people. Sabi dito, in Him. Can you say, in Him? It doesn't just say, because of Jesus. It doesn't just say na Jesus distributes this kind of life. No, it says, in Christ, in Jesus, there is life. In Jesus, there's not just church attendance. Good behavior. In Him, in Jesus, there is life. In Jesus, there's not just prosperity or blessing. There is life. I love what it, it, it talks about here because when you talk about light and the light that produces life, it's a picture of dawn. Yung bagong simula. Yung after ng ang habang gabi, yung may bagong, uh, anong, ano sa Tagalog yun? Bukang liwayway. Diba? And it makes you hopeful. Now, yung iba sa atin, pag Monday, hindi. <laughs> pag bukang liwayway na, eto na. Okay. But the picture here, if you go back in the old times, dahil wala pang electricity, morning meant good news. Because wow, finally after the dark, wala sila magawa sa dark eh. But now there's light. Wow, we can walk again. We can go on with life. We can move forward. What light means here that produces life, it means freedom. 
It means you can see again. It means direction. Pwede ka magkaroon ng direction. Because of Jesus, there's purpose. If you think about it, everything, you know, light is essential for everything that we do. Yung iba sa atin dito, ang dami mga hobbies na, 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 na produce ngayon or na, na kahiligan. Sino dito mga plantita at plantito? May mga, pwede ka ba magtaas ng kamay? Plantita, plantito. Wow, ayun, mayroon tayong mga plantito, plantita. Sino sa inyong mga plantito at plantita? Alam mong essential yung light for the growth of your plants. At para maayos mo rin yung plants. So, sino dito mga bikers? Yung mga grabe mag-bike, yung mga 100 kilometers, Pastor RJ, ganyan eh. And how many of you know that mahirap mag-bike sa light, ay sa darkness? Kailangan mo ng light kasi kapag nasa darkness ka mamaya, may humps, so may plan ka. Diba? How many of us here, yung mga nag-vlog? Yes naman. Yung mga nag-tiktok, diba? bumiling ng ring light. Nung, nung simula po ng pandemic, yung, nung, nung, nung nag-Facebook po tayo, nagre-record. Grabe, after po nung first preaching ko sa bahay, the week after, may nag-send sa akin ng ring light. <laughs> Sabi niya, parang kailangan niyo po, pastor. <laughs> kailangan hati ng ilaw, isn't it? Whether you're baking or whatever it is, you're teaching your, your family, yung anak mo, you're working from home, kailangan mo ng ilaw. And in the same way, in our life, we need that kind of light that produces life. What I like about light that gives life is if you are in a ship, nakaboard ka dun sa ship, you need that light because if you don't have light, eventually, you are prone to accident. You might crash. But because that boat that you're riding has navigational lights, you're able to go safely ashore. And in the same way, life is kind of like that. There are many waves that will be tossed around us. There are many things that's going to be thrown at us. But if we are with the light, who is full of life, we're going to get to the shore safe and sound. Jesus is the light of life. He was not... Sabi dito, he was not the light but came to bear witness about the light. Babalikan natin yung mamaya. But Jesus is the true light which enlightens everyone who was coming into the world. Jesus is the light that produces life. Now second is also the light that Jesus brings will be absolute. It's not going to be Temporary. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Mamaya po, pagka after ng services, medyo nag-ikot-ikot ka sa mall, tapos nag- lumabas ka sa estansya, so, makakita ka ng maraming Christmas lights. Ang gaganda ng Christmas lights pag lumabas tayo. But then, how many of you know, at some point, papatayin yung Christmas lights? And there are some things na hindi mo pwedeng gawin na may Christmas lights lang. Like, I can't fully study na blinking lang yung lights, tas maliit lang yung lights. I need a bigger light that will be absolute and necessary for everything that I'm doing. In this time of the year, so many of us are looking for uh, a different light. Isn't it? Sino sa inyo kapag pinag-usapang bonus, it lights you up? Meron ba? Diba? Pag sinabi sa'yo, pag may nag-text sa'yo, uh, tinawag ka sa office, uh, sabihin sa'yo, diba? Uh, rap, meron ka nga palang bonus. Diba? Parang, ha, thank you. Pero sino sa inyo parang hindi na light up yung araw mo pag may deduction? Diba? Parang, ano ba to? <laughs> yung mga raffle, pag nanalo ka ng raffle, sino sa inyo, it will light you up. Pag TV yung pinaparaffle, di ba? Nabunot yung pangalan mo, tapos pag yung mga simpleng kettle lang, di ba? <laughs> picture frame, parang ay, ano yung panalunan mo sa raffle? Towel. Yung mga gano'n lang, parang, <laughs> pero kapag medyo mati, matindi-tindi, parang, uy, grabe, ang sayo nito, G, ano, uh, uh, ano to, GC, grabe, 5,000, grabe, panalo to, may pang shopping na ako, pang lasa. it lights you up. Relationships lights us up, isn't it? Pag sinagot ka na, Nung nililigawan mo. Di ba? All of us are, ah, grabe naman. Iba yung lak- lakaran natin, yung mga forma, iba, di ba? Pero pag binasad ka, iba eh. 
But how many of you know, eventually, kapag nag-away na kayong dalawa, how many of you, pag nag-aaway kayo, it lights you up? But in a different way. <laughs> eventually, some of those lights get dim. The cash runs out. The joy in relationships, sometimes, ikakatensyon. Businesses fluctuate. Careers, we can't predict. Loved ones, some of them, unfortunately, we lose them. Friendships are affected. These are great lights, but eventually, these lights are not lights that's always gonna be there forever. I was talking to Kuya Ruel kanina. Sabi niya, para siyang um, glow in the dark. It glows, it gets to entertain, distracted, but eventually it loses its light. That's why Jesus says, I am the light of the world. I don't just give light, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Now, James, if Jesus is the light, and there's so many people who says they're Christians, why isn't there a lot of light? Because the reality is, there are people who just turn in the light, who turns on the light every Sunday. And that's about it. They go on the, on the week, pero wala na. Also, Light, even though it's powerful, is useless if you actually don't open your eyes. Light is useless if at the same time you also don't make contact with it. Light is useless if you are hiding in the dark. And so that's why kahit na merong light that has come into the world, sometimes there are not there's not a lot of people. Or not living in the light. The Bible actually says that. Sabi niya, the world did not know him. He made the world. He was in the world and the world was made through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to his own and his own people did not receive him. He was near but the people wanted to back off. And so sayang. <laughs> That's why the question here is are you gonna acknowledge Jesus or are you gonna reject Jesus? Because even if Jesus was the light, but you don't want to acknowledge Jesus as the light, then that light somehow will not have an effect on you. But James, I don't want to live in the light. And I understand that. Because if you actually live in the light, nakakatakot. How many of us here, we understand that if we actually step into the light, we're going to get exposed. If you step into the light, you're gonna see your blemishes, your failure, that you have been living a lie. You're gonna see the, the spots in your life that needs correction. That's why sometimes living in the dark is much more comfortable because you're there. Sana yung gana, okay na ako dito eh. Kesa naman kapag if I step into the light, I need to change. But here's the thing. If we live in the light, in the, in the darkness, we're living there for a reason. We're living there because we think in the darkness, we're safe. We think in the darkness, it's much more comfortable. In the darkness, there's much more life. There's at least mas at is ako dito. Walang demand dito. There's no master here. If there's anything that I need to do in my own terms because I'm in the darkness, nasa safe zone ko siya. And so a lot of people would rather live in the dark because it's where they are, they've been living for the longest time rather than living in the light. But here's the thing. Whatever you think you are looking for here in the darkness, you know what? You can have it in Jesus, but in a much better, in a much brighter way. If you're looking for love, acceptance, 
that's available in Jesus. Because whatever you think you have here, honestly, if you're living in the dark, you're still living in the dark. And you still don't have what you're looking for. But when you actually make a new decision, even though it's uncomfortable to live in the light, to confess, to say, you know what, this is really what's going on in my life, Jesus. This is what happens. But to all who did receive him, how many of you know receiving something needs some of you to take some steps to actually receive what is being given? If you receive him, believe in his name, he will give you the right to become children of God. Which is something I think all of us here long for. We long for a heavenly father who's going to affirm us, who's going to forgive us, who's going to love us, who's going to provide, who's going to protect. Everything that we've, we thought we can get in the dark, we can actually get it from God. And when we get it from God because we're children of God, this is sure, stable, and absolute never ending. Amen? But we need to make that decision to humble ourselves and to say, Lord, I don't want to live in the dark anymore, but I want to live in the light. I want to give us a moment here to pray and to worship God, but, and I want to invite everyone to stand to their feet. You know, I remember many years ago, one of our pastors said this, that whatever we hide in the dark, because we're afraid to expose, eventually it's going to get exposed one way or another. It's just a matter of time. It's just one problem away. But whatever we try to expose to God, God heals it. If we say, Lord, grab itong attitude, ko, grab itong problem, ko, grab itong past, ko, Lord, grab itong nangyayara sa buhay ko. You know what? God can actually step into your situation, and like a surgeon, He can do something with your situation. And I believe right now, for each one of us here, there are different things that we're carrying. And I believe the great thing that we can do today is to lay it down before God. Just take this time to say, Lord, there's these areas of my life that there's darkness and shadows. But Lord, help me to see. Help me to allow your light to come in my situation. Help me to make that hard decision of stepping into the light finally again. Let's just allow the Holy Spirit as you worship.
reminded of uh, two stories. First story is the woman who was caught in adultery. And they brought this woman to Jesus and says, Jesus, we should stone this woman. And they brought her to the light, hoping that if they were brought to Jesus, if she was brought to Jesus, people will stone him. But isn't it that at that time your response to Jesus was instead of saying, Okay, let's cast the stone. Jesus says, If anyone here without sin, cast the first stone. And Jesus writes. And then afterward everyone goes and says, Woman, neither do I condemn you. I just want to speak to some of you. Maybe you feel like, Lord, I, f- I-, I can relate it with that woman. Grabe yung ginawa ko, Lord, caught in the act. Sama. Can I really come to you? But you know, if you're still breathing, there's still grace for you. If you're still alive here, it's not too late for you. There is hope for you if you're watching this. Come back to Jesus. Repent. Turn away from your sin. Jesus is able to receive you. Last story is in Mark 8, there was this blind man that Jesus heals. He opens his eyes and when he opens his eyes, his, his eyes he can see partially. And Jesus says, do you want your, your, your sight to be restored? And then, he answers yes, and then Jesus completely restores his sight. And I want to pray for maybe you've been a Christian for some time and medyo, medyo na dim yung, yung, yung ano mo, sight mo because of all the pressures that came for the past few weeks or months. But you want to see the light again. I believe if that's you, many of us here who actually felt that, it's a good time for us to pray. That's you. Can you raise your hand so that I just know who I'm praying with? If you call you and you're saying, God, I want you to restore the light in my life, the light in my eyes. Lord, you know what your people have been through. Maybe it's a loss of a loved one. Maybe it's maybe it's a compromise that has happened. Maybe it's a sin issue. Maybe it's career. Lord, we don't know, Lord, but you know. What caused us to not see again or not to see clearly? But Lord, I'm praying that today, Holy Spirit, you would help us to see again your light. Lord, we don't want this Christmas, this season, na parang, Lord, hindi ka namin nakikita clearly. Hindi namin, well, Lord, hindi namin nararamdaman yung liwanag na, na binibigay mo. Lord, help us to fix our eyes on you, Jesus. Lord, if there are things that you need to correct, there are things you need to pour into our lives and there are things that you need to take away, Lord, so that our eyes will finally be able to see your light or do it. Because we don't want to miss you. We don't want just to go through the motions without you being with us. Lord, we want the life. We want you. Lord, be with us. Help us every day. Lord, not just today. Tomorrow, kapag may temptation na naman, kapag yun na naman. Lord, help us every time probably that we look at, at the light sa ceiling namin or to whatever light, Lord, remind us that you are the light and that you can give light as well. In Jesus' name, you can put down your hand. Now, last but not the least, before we leave the place, huli na lang, okay lang ba? Gusto ka lang mabanggit si John eh, kasi nandun siya sa text natin kanina eh. Because John was there. And John, si John. Anyway, there was a man sent from God whose name was John. And here's the thing, he came as a witness to bear witness about the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light but came to bear witness about the light, the true light which enlightens everyone. And I just want to encourage you, there are people who's not here today who's not watching with us today and maybe they're also experiencing some sort of darkness in their life. Maybe, kind of like John, God is calling you to also be a witness about the light. 
Maybe this coming Christmas party sa office nyo, may gathering na naman kayo, probably God can use you to point people to the light, which is Jesus. Amen? Lord, empower your people. Fill us with your light so that, Lord, wherever we go, we would be able to bring light in our marriages, in our campuses, in our family. Lord, wherever it is that you're calling us, Lord, help us to live according to your, to your purpose. Give us the boldness, Holy Spirit, to point people to you so that they will also not miss the light. In Jesus' name, and everyone say, Amen and Amen. Can you tell the person beside you, you are the light of the world. Sabi nga, Jesus, diba, you are the light of the world. And for those who are joining with us, thank you. Okay? We hope that you're going to be a blessing this week, just like everyone hopes that ganun din yung mangyayari. Now, we're going to see you again next week.